Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nudge RDA by Watofo and designed by Suck My Mod, Matt from Suck My Mod. That's the other side. It looks great on my Fuchai 213 Squawk Mod and I was looking for one that looked good, so hey. Beautiful. In addition to that, if you watch to the end, you will be able to um, qualify for um, the giveaway for a Nudge RDA. This one is actually in black. So I do have a black Nudge RDA for giveaway. Really, really excited. So I'll be giving all that information at the end. So let's go ahead and build on Okay, it. so here we are with the Nudge RDA. This is actually by Watofo and Matt from Suck My Mod. Um, he's another YouTube reviewer, really, really awesome guy. Um, this is the box that it comes in. It does have your scratch off authenticity here. Um, and it tells you the color. Mine's actually gonna be in red. It is a 24 millimeter um, RDA. On the back, it does give you the contents of the kit, um, which it comes with one nudge RDA, one bag of Japanese cotton, user manual, extra screws and O-rings, and um, a bag of cum wire coils. Not sure what those are. I'm thinking they meant comp wire coils, but yeah, it does say come white. Yeah, okay. And then, um, yeah, attention is there. Um, it's kind of misspelled. I, I never even noticed that before now. But yeah, so don't zoom in on that because it's misspelled. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, this is the box. The box doesn't even matter because I don't even care what's in the box I do, or what the box is. I mean, it's a great green. I do love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. But this is the star of the show. So let's go ahead and talk about the Nudge RDA. Um, again, I did get mine in red. I'm going to show you what else comes in the kit or in the box. We do get a 510 drip dip adapter, which is awesome, awesome, awesome for those of you that want um, to use your 510s. You open up the contents here and you will get your um, <clears throat> your giveaway card. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you pay attention to that. See if you get a Watofo shirt. You do get the manual. This is the Nudge manual and it's very User-friendly in the sense of it's got pictures. I love, love, love pictures. I don't know about you, but I would rather look at the pictures than read the words, but that's just me, and yeah. So we've got that. It tells you how to put in your liquid, how to do the wicking holes, and all that good stuff. So that's your manual. And then you've got three bags of comp wire, which are not comp wire. You do get your screwdriver, which is really always handy, handy to have. So in the comp wire bags, again, there is um, three of these and they are not comp wire actually. Um, okay, so to open up the first bag, just rip it open. I'll put this over here so it's just out of your way. Okay, so in the first bag, we've got some organic cotton, um, some Japanese organic cotton. So that's always good to have. So I'm gonna put that right there. So that's the first bag of comp wire. The second bag of comp wire here, open that up and this actually has this has got your extra screws as well as okay so it's got your screws here one two three and i know there's a fourth one in here because i can feel it it's like stuck to the bottom of the bag so you do get four different um extra screws plus your o-rings and then this is your regular 510 pin um the one that is currently installed is a squonk pin so we'll keep that in there and put this away. Oh, why do I do this? Why do I dump it out in my hand? I don't know. I just don't want to lose none of these because you never know when you're going to need them. So I'll put those back in the bag. That'll go over here. And then finally, last but not least, we do have the last comp wire bag. And this one contains three coils. Aren't these awesome? These are really, really nice coils. They look like alien coils to me, or maybe uh, like a fuse clapped in, flattened. So those are nice. We're actually gonna go ahead and use these. Um, so I'm gonna put the extra one away. I'm not sure why they would give you three instead of four, but uh, beggar, beggars can't be choosy, and I don't care. As long as they give me coils, that's good for okay, me. Okay, so let me show you so the RDA, and then we will go ahead and start building. This is the red. It does come in like black, gunmetal, blue, 
um, red, and I want to say green. I, I No, stainless steel, that's what it is. So yeah, so the red one does come with this nice red drip tip. This is an 810 compatible goon style drip tip. It doesn't have the O-ring, so you can use any compatible one. This actually has like a lip that kind of cuts and cups the, the drip tip in a way. So it sits really, really flush. And then you've got your two O-rings on the inside. You put that there. You do have two air flows. One's on this side, one's on this side. Whatever you do to one side will um, change the other as well. When you do get these, um, oops, well, it's gotta be on a mod. I can't do it without the mod. Um, it does say nudge on this one and it's got um, suck my mods logo here. So Matt, kudos to you. And then suck my mod and Watofo and Watofo.com. There's your um, squonk pin. Again, it does come with the 510. If you don't want a squonk, you can always go ahead and put that in so that you can drip on it like a normal RDA. And let's go ahead and open this up so that you can see the inside. Put it on here, take this off. Okay, the inside of the cap is domed. It's a really, really nice dome. This is aluminum, so it shouldn't heat up as much as metal does. Um, I actually had aluminum on my Peerless and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm very excited about this one. So it's got the dome shape inside. It's got the little lip where your RDA sits on. And then that's your airflow there. Your airflow can be changed by turning the whole cap. This is a one cap piece. So it's not like you've got, you know, a top thing to spin the airflow. It's all one piece, but they're really milled out really nice. If you notice, it's got like that stainless look to it, um, which matches the lettering and everything on this really, really well. I really like this. So then we've got the deck. This is the deck here. Um, this is your positive and these are your negatives. So what you would do is actually unscrew this one and this one. You're gonna put your coil in, unscrew this one and this one, put your coil in. Um, I suggest probably tightening them down one by one because I think that's gonna be easier. This is the airflow here. Once your coil is sitting in and you wanna try to line up your coil close enough to the airflow so that it's gonna hit your coil directly on, when it hits it, it's actually going to go in this way and there's like this centerpiece here that's sort of like a triangle. I don't know if you can see it. So the air goes in and then up. So it's going to go under your coil and then up, which I think is a fantastic, fantastic idea. You do have all this space underneath your um, center post, which I think is good. And it's a pretty decent size juice well. It's not massive, but it's pretty decent size. Your, if you do over squonk or over drip, there is always a possibility of leaking out the airflow, but that's for any type of RDA if you over squonk or over drip. Okay, so we're so gonna go I've ahead. Got the handy dandy screwdriver from in the box. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen them up. Again, I'm gonna do this one here, open it up. And if you notice, it's got like little slots in them. I'm gonna show you once I open up this one as well. And then open up this one. Okay, so if you notice, it does have, I'm gonna put something behind it. It's got a little slot, but it does have like this little edge on it so that it'll hold your coil in so it doesn't slip out. So I think that that's awesome. It is on this one from the inside as well, as well as that one from the inside. So let's go ahead and slip our coil Okay, so to in put in here. the coil, what we're gonna do is just grab it like this with both hands. I'm gonna put my screwdriver down. And we're just gonna go ahead and glide it in. If you do it from this side, it's really, really easy. And then glide it into the center one. There we go. It was in there a second ago, I swear. Let's go in there. It's a little bit harder because this lead is kind of long. Okay, there we go. Bend that down a little bit and just slide there. There we go. Okay, so finally got that in there. Woo. This I will tell you is gonna be it's gonna it's gonna make somebody's day not so bright. It is a little bit of a pain in the butt because the posts are so close together. It's really just hard to get in there to maneuver. So I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have them too close to either side of the deck. I want to make sure they're pushed in. Make sure it's under that screw. And then this one under the screw. OK, 
Okay, there we go. And that one is in. I just wanna make sure they're nice and tight. And nice and tight. And there we go. And actually it's a pretty much centered. I'm just gonna scoot it over a little bit. These are three millimeter um, diameter coils, by the way. So there we are right there. I'm just centering it, making sure that it's not hitting. I don't want it to hit this post or this post. So you gotta be really, really careful with that. I just wanna scoot it over just a little bit more. Hold on one second. My fancy dancy tool here. And I can scoot this over just a little bit by the airflow. There we go, making sure that it's not hitting any of the sides. So you need to make sure. And I'll check it this way as well. It's not hitting any of the posts, so now I can go ahead and cut my leads. You wanna go ahead and cut them as flush as possible. There's actually a little groove in here where you can fit this really, really nice. So that way you can have it flushed. There's one. And then we'll go ahead and do the second one. There we go, two of them. And then that's how it comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coil. Let's raise those up. I'm not gonna lie guys. You know, I'm honest in my videos and I don't sit here and jump cut or anything like that when I'm doing my builds, but this is going to be, this is, I don't, I don't like how this slides in. I honestly don't, but this is for the more advanced vapor. So do this. I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to bend that a little bit to get it in there. Cause I don't, I mean, having it so close, it's really hard. I'm totally honest with you. Okay, so we've got that in. I need to push it over so that this um, screw will grab that end. Get that one in. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do this one. I wanna make sure that the coil is in there. And then we'll position them afterward. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and position that one making sure that it's not touching anything. They're gonna be a little off, but that's due to the airflow. Plus you have a little bit more room if you do it that way as well. So there we go. Not touching this deck or this post and not touching that. Let's get this just a hair over a little bit. There we go. All right, and this one, just a little bit more that way. Just really work. You definitely don't wanna to touch either one of these because if you do, you're gonna short it out and that's not a good vape. So let's go ahead and cut the leads. I'm gonna cut this one over here. And then cut this one over here. It's not bad, I'm sure, if you're like keep going or you don't have nails like me, but yeah. Getting them to like go under is the part that's like difficult for me. I'm just not used to the whole scooping mechanism, so I do apologize for that. For any of you that wanna like, you know, make fun of me, that's perfectly fine. This is my first time on a deck like this. I'm very excited, but yeah. I'm just making sure that all my screws are tight um, since I did play with the coils. So this is how it looks. And I'm just gonna double check and make sure that they are not in any way close to or about to touch anything. So I like to make sure my OCD is like on me, plus I don't wanna short. And you know what's worse than a short? A short on camera. <laughs> Wendy does not want a short on camera. And they, they look perfectly low enough. I could probably go just a hair lower because it's the airflow is gonna get on the coil or under the coil. Let me just, where I can see them. So I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit more down. A little bit down, just a hair smidge, a smidge down smidge down because I want to be able to see them through the airflow. So yeah, I can kind of see that, but now I gotta position this a little bit better. There we go. And this one I think is just right. So yeah, so there we go. There's my coils for you. And these are their coils. And let me tell you something, these are really, really pretty coils. So I'm really excited to use them. So one last glance over and we'll start firing them. Just gonna move this one just a hair over this way a little bit. Okay, so, no, this way. Alrighty then. 
Okay, let's start firing them. And yes, this is a new coil. I'm actually doing this on my Live Pour 160 um, mod, and they are coming out to a 0.18. Let's go ahead, and I've got on 29 watts, and we'll go ahead and start pulsing it. Get them glowing. So that's our main objective, is to get them glowing evenly. There they are. Already starting to color. Just go ahead and pinch. Pinch. Making sure it's not hitting anything. Colors are coming out nice. Pinch them a little bit more. Pinch it a little bit more. Okay, it's getting there. This is the part that usually takes the longest, is the firing of the coils and getting them to glow evenly. So if they don't glow, you just throw them just a tiny bit. Get on any hot spots. Okay, so I actually put it on my Fuchai um, Squonk and we've got them heating evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool down for a second. So yeah, I had to take it off camera to switch it out because this one was just reading too hot because the coils were actually lower. Um, they're a 0.13 instead of a 0.18 now that I've um, gone ahead and messed with them. So I wasn't reading it um, because it was too hot. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get some cotton. And where is my favorite cotton? is right here and that is the kendo vape cotton gold edition so i'm going to go ahead and get some out while that's cooling down get a piece and go ahead and start wicking this baby now again the the juice well is like fairly deep but it's got so much room that you can really really put some cotton in here so yeah, and they're three millimeter ID coils, so shouldn't be hard to wick this baby up. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Give me two years. Help it along. Because it's an any deck. I call them any decks when they're like, the coils are like inside. So there we go. Not too tight, not too loose. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and do the other side. So far, so good. Getting really, really excited. I was looking for a red um, Squonk RDA for this mod anyway, so I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and finish doing this side, which is gonna be done just like the other side because, yeah, there we go. Get this out of the any. so I can grip it. Not you. Still can't grip it. Okay, let's twist it up right this time, Wendy. Okay. Go. There we go. That should come out really nice now. Okay. Put that through. Not too tight, not too loose. Got that. And then I like to fluff out my coils. I mean, not everybody does, but I do like it. That way if there's any knots or any like, I don't know, stiff parts in it, you see how it like comes out of knots? That's why I do it because like you can see like knots forming. It's almost like not brushing your hair and having your hair knotty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that much off and cut this much off. And then we've got our pretty little bow going on. If I need to cut more, I will, but let's just go ahead and drop it in there. Fitting all nice. There we go. Again, there's plenty of room for cotton and it's not even hitting the inside. I'm gonna cut this just a little bit more because this one looks a little long on the bottom. And put this one in. And put this one in. There we go. And that side's done too. Now I do have this in squonk mode. I'm gonna to try to get as close as I can so that you can actually see it squonk. 
I did forget to show you the squonk holes. They're actually in the bottom of that little triangle centerpiece. And there's actually one on this side and one on that side so that it disperses it equally. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and see if you can see it. So watch carefully. You see it? It goes on both sides. Look at that. Yep, squonking heaven. Make sure my cotton's in there. I'm squonking again. No leaking so far, I haven't gone over the airflow. But what I usually do whenever I have any type of squonking device, well, any RDA in general, but mainly squonking devices, is I am gonna put some on the, on the top as well because I like to actually get the cotton wet from the inside out. So I'm actually gonna put some on the coils and then pulse them so that the inside cotton is getting saturated as well. Otherwise, sometimes you will have a dry hit or cotton taste for a few hits. I don't have to wait because it's already primed up by the time I, I get to it because the cotton's fully saturated on the inside. So there we go. And you can see it's bubbling there. Woo. What a little bit more. Can't believe I forgot to show you the squonking holes. Oh well. You will see it, you will see it. And here we go. Turn that baby up. Because 36 is not going to do it for me. There we go. And vapor. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put the cap on it. Again, the air flows are right on the side. Put on the cap. And it looks perfect. So let's go on top. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Nudge RDA. Um, let's go ahead and have a vape. I know what this e-liquid tastes like. I'm actually using the Mint to Be, which is the Spearmint. Yum. I'll leave the link down below if you're interested in Spearmint flavor. It is so flavorful. Okay, so for the pros and cons. I'm going to start off with the cons because there's not that many. The cons, I, I think, I love the concept of the build deck. I really, really do. I think it looks cool. I think that it's, it's workable, it, it, workable, like that's a word. I don't, I'm not a fan of it being so close. I wish this was more, maybe a 25 millimeter RDA so you had just a little bit more deck room so you don't have to worry about if you wanna put coils like that. Um, or, you know, provide coils that are a little bit not so fat, not so beefy or something. Um, either way, I just don't like that it's, you know, to slide them in, you have to be perfect, hold it down. I just think that that's, you know, tedious, to be honest with you. I don't recommend this for a new vapor that is just getting into RDAs. I feel that this is more for like an intermediate or advanced vapor um, because it is a little bit difficult, to be honest with you. It's, I mean, as you saw down below, it can be very difficult. Now I'm gonna go over the prong, the prongs, the pros. It comes with a resin drip tip. I think that is awesome, awesome, awesome. I wish it would have come with maybe like, um, um, one of those new PI, PEI um, drip tips as well, the other 810 drip tips, but it does come with the 510 adapter, so that makes up for it, so that's fine. I love how they match it with the cap. I love the the cap. I, I just love the look of the cap. The cap has just got this really nice shape to it. I love the airflow, how it's the stainless with the color. Um, I like the logo for the suck my mod as well as the word for nudge. I think that that's awesome. Um, I like that it's aluminum. Let me tell you why. When the Peerless came out, the Peerless was aluminum, the very first one, and I loved it, and I still love it. Um, then they came out with the um, metal ones, and the metal ones heat up more. They get a lot more hot. Like I'm sitting here vaping on it, it's not hot at all. I really, really like that. It's lightweight, it's not gonna heat up so much, so you're not gonna have, even with these coils that are 0.13, it's not hot, it's just not. Um, I love the airflow. The airflow hits the coils so good, so the flavor is just amazing. Amazing flavor, amazing airflow. Now, there is one other con. If you want to close down the airflow, you can only go in one direction. If you go in the other one, you're actually going to be in the spot where you clip your leads. 
So it's not really gonna be like cutting it down too much because you're still getting some air in there. And that would be to go, and it's hard to do if you're if you have it screwed on, sometimes it'll unscrew. But that's the way that you can do it. Um, and you can close it down. So I'm closing it down. Let me go ahead and have a vape like this. Still tremendous airflow. Very, very good flavor. I do like mine wide open. But it's still hitting the coil because I did put the coil closer to the airflow because the, the airflow is a little bit catty corner to each other. It's not directly in front of each other. So I did position my coils that way and I think that that's why I'm hitting them so perfectly. Um, and even with the airflow closed down, I'm still hitting the coils because of where they're positioned. So I do like that. I love that it comes in multiple colors because everybody's got their own color preference, whether it be blue or green or red or whatever. I think that that's awesome. And um, the price point, if I'm not mistaken, was about 39, I'm not sure, but I'll be leaving the link down below. Um, I did find it at Vapor DNA, so they do have it. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of it. This, it's a six millimeter juice well, about, but um, it feels like a little bit more. I mean, I was squonking, I haven't over dripped at all. I mean, there's no leaking whatsoever for me. And squonking, you're not gonna have any dripping anyways. Once, if you don't over drip, you shouldn't be having too much leaking. Um, I think that the airflow holes are raised up just enough so that you can't, but just don't over, just don't sit here and squonk it, squonk. Then of course you're gonna have over, over dripping or leaking as you would anything else. So I do like this, I really, really do. I And the color is beautiful. Once again, the flavor is amazing, amazing. I do like that they provide you with the coils as well. You do get three coils. I wish there was four because I don't understand if it's a dual coil, why you would only provide three. But that's just my opinion. Who am I but a reviewer? But that's what I would have done. But yeah, so those are my pros and cons. I really, really like it. I Again, it's not even hot. It's not even hot and I've been vaping it. A 0.13 coil in it. I'm gonna turn it up a little. Let's see if we can make it hot. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, I'm gonna take it up to 70, 76.2. That's where I'm gonna take it, where it stops. Amazing, amazing. The flavor gets better and better on this RDA. Still not hot, still not hot. Yum. So now to enter the giveaway, because I do have one extra. Um, to enter the giveaway, what I want you to do is I want you to put um, down below how long you've been vaping and the word nudge. So that's how you would qualify. So I, in your comment, you would put how long you've been vaping. You can add anything else to it, but I do want those two things. I want the word nudge and I want you to tell me how long you've been vaping. In addition to that, you do have to be 21 years of age or older. Um, this is for U.S. only, only because I cannot, I haven't gotten into the whole international shipping yet. Still kind of small here, but I'm trying to, you know, um, look into it. So I am looking into it for those of you that are, you know, outside the U.S., but it is U.S. only. There will be a $7 FDA shipping fee um, to send this out, which will um, be paid by PayPal or we can figure something else out um, on Facebook if you're on Facebook. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and give this one away. It is the black one, Nudge RDA, still in the package. I didn't even open it. I was gonna open it just to look at it and see what it came with, but I'm not. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this for you. And yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed and you like my content and you're interested in future videos, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like, um, to, to share the video for anybody who is looking at building or starting to build for my other videos as well. Maybe not this one, unless they're like intermediate or, or advanced. Um, yeah, so all my social media and everything's down below. If you have any questions or comments about the RDA too, you can also leave that down below. So, um, yeah, until the next one.